Golden Doodle Colors. Making decisions can be really hard, especially when it comes to picking out a furry companion. For better or worse, there are a ton of options when it comes to the coat color of a Golden Doodle, some of which many people don't even know exist. And with the advancement of DNA testing, breeders can create basically any color they want for a doodle, although the American Kennel Club only recognizes three. We hope that giving you more information about why the doodle is this color, or even showing you that color exists on a doodle, will help narrow your choices and ease your mind a little. With all of that in mind, here are a bunch of Golden Doodle coat colors. Enjoy! Brown Golden Doodle. Ranging from a deep, rich mahogany to a dark walnut color, the AKC recognizes this as an official dog breed, and so you are bound to see a happy doodle darting around the dog park or neighborhood with this coat. The brown color mostly comes from the poodle part of the hybrid, but is a recessive gene, and so it's somewhat hard to consistently breed these guys, as well as it being almost guaranteed that you won't get the same shade of brown. This makes many brown doodle owners proud of their unique shade of dude, and why not be? Apricot Golden Doodle. The apricot doodle is one of the most sought after colors for the already popular breed, mainly because it makes your doodle look like a big teddy bear. The AKC has accepted this as an official breed. And a fun fact, the apricot poodle was the last poodle color to be accepted by the AKC in 1898. This doodle will have black skin throughout most of the visible parts of their body, adding even more to the teddy bear look. And their coat will also lighten over time to a sort of tannish, making for a very unique and pretty dog. Red Golden Doodle. Similar to the Apricot Golden Doodle, the Golden Doodle became popular because of how much its black nose and dark red coat resembled a children's teddy bear, making it a no-brainer as the Doodle is famously a family dog. The reddish mahogany really pops out and is the brightest color for a Golden Doodle. Put this thing in the snow and you'll see exactly what people mean. Although it's not recognized by the AKC, it's pretty easy to create using a darker poodle with a normal colored retriever, making this what many people think of when they picture a Golden Doodle. Cream Golden Doodle. Next up is the Cream Golden Doodle, which is a very light colored doodle that's sometimes even mistaken for a Labradoodle since it's so light. What makes the Cream Doodle so interesting is how much their physical appearances can vary. The Golden Doodle can have a light brown nose, a lighter shade of eye color, and even lighter toenails. This color has the largest variety of physical changes, and so it's very unlikely you spot a cream Golden Doodle that looks the same as yours. Pretty cool. Black Golden Doodle. The Black Golden Doodle is one of the rarest colors for a doodle, making them kind of a unicorn to find. To create a Black Golden Doodle, You'll have to find a poodle and a golden retriever that both have the recessive black gene. Fittingly compared to their ultralight cream counterpart, there's little variation amongst the black doodles, being almost exclusively black from the nose to the paws and eyes. Party Golden Doodle. A party golden doodle is 50% white, as well as a second color, a first so far on the list. The second color can be anything, but it's usually a tan or an apricot. Creating a party doodle is also particularly difficult and complicated, resulting in needing to breed recessive genes with recessive genes. It's very hard to predict the color of the doodle, and because of this, it'll be extremely hard to find another party golden doodle that looks like yours. Black and White Golden Doodle The Black and White Golden Doodle is a fan favorite for many, and it's easy to see why. The contrast between the two colors is striking, and this doodle has very specific features to match, including a white chest, white nose, and a streak of white on top of their head. Because of this, many refer to the black and white doodle as the Tuxedo Golden Doodle, which has got to be one of the most adorable and fitting nicknames ever. In order to get a black and white doodle, you essentially have to cross a golden retriever with a party doodle and cross your fingers, no pun intended. This is an extremely rare breed, which is a shame because of how cute it is. Sable Golden Doodle. Sable Golden Doodles are actually born completely black, if you can believe that. Then over time, the solid color fades, and over time the sable will turn into a lighter color, kind of like a cream or tan with black tips. This gives a very striking look to the doodle, as well as framing them in a very unique way. 
It's very interesting that the black doesn't fade completely away, but we're sure glad it doesn't because, wow, look at them. Merle Golden Doodle. Although it is possible for two Golden Doodles to create a Merle Doodle, it is far more common that a Poodle is bred with an Australian Shepherd or Border Collie, making them technically Aussie Doodles. Merle Golden Doodles are so rare because any kind of dominant gene will overshadow the recessive Merle trait. Because of this, Merle Doodles should never mate with each other, since their offspring can be born blind, deaf, or have other deformities occur. So be careful. Gray Golden Doodle. Gray Golden Doodles are also born with very dark fur that turns gray around the age of two, like the Silver Poodle. If you're a breeder or puppy owner wondering if you may have a doodle, you'll probably know by six weeks, which is usually when the Golden Doodle hair clears up. If you want to cheat a bit and just want a gray doodle, combining an Australian Shepherd with a Golden Retriever will yield essentially the same result and is far more common. Phantom Golden Doodle. The Phantom Doodle is a rare breed, and unlike the Party Golden Doodle, there are very clear rules for the dog to be considered a Phantom. The rule is that the dog must have a primary color that covers most of the body, and then a secondary color that appears only on the eyes, muzzle of the nose, and the lower part of the legs, kind of like a Yorkie. Usually, but not exclusively, black and tan, Phantom Doodles can also be red, silver, and black as well, essentially making each one unique looking. It's easy to spot if you have a phantom doodle because the markings will show up from the offset, so you won't have to wait for the dog to develop the spots. Tan Golden Doodle. Last, but certainly not least, is the Tan Golden Doodle, which is a mix between the apricot and cream doodles. You will see shades of white and apricot in their fur as well, which it gets from the Golden Retriever in its genes. The AKC acknowledges seven colors for the poodle and three for the Golden Retriever opening the door for an infinite amount of options to create. Weird colors such as silver, blue, and a bunch of multicolor variations exist as well. We wanted to take a second and show you the most common and some of the rarer and unique ones as well. As always, if you like this video, please leave a like and consider sharing with your friends. Also, leave a comment down below about which one of the colors we covered was your favorite.